If you owned a computer or console many years ago, the type of games available were very different and not very varied. PCs were for people who liked thoughtful, strategy-based games, while console owners were after fast, simple thrills. But it's now becoming more and more difficult to tell a PC game from a console game. People often have more than one gaming system, and it's no longer surprising when a single game is released on them all. There are still some underlying factors to consider, though, and when it comes to writing games for more than one format, no one knows the problems better than the developers. Working inside a console, you usually have a cartridge, and the cartridge is really small, and you're limited by the space with that, that that cartridge gives you. So it's like you're programming with your hands behind your back the whole time. Getting a PC, you have hard drives, you have sound cards, you've got a really nice monitor sitting there. It's, it's basically a, a dream come true for programming. Yes, when faced with trying to fit a PC game into a console with four to eight times less memory, the problems can be horrendous. However, technical wizardry isn't the whole picture, and there are several reasons why making a perfect conversion is not always a good idea. With Lands of Lore and with uh, our new product Blade Runner, we're doing uh, PSX versions of the titles. And in doing that, we re-engineer the titles, not because of the machine's capabilities, but because of the audience's expectations. It doesn't matter how good a title is. If you're after a few minutes of fun and it takes you an hour to plow through the manual, you won't be pleased. Most mass market businesses succeed because they give the customer what he or she wants. Just as staring at a TV screen can't compete with staring at a high quality monitor, so a few joypad buttons can't compete with a full PC keyboard. Sega is just one of the big players who sees the computer and console market as quite separate, but that hasn't stopped them from starting to transfer their top Saturn games to PC. Entertainment software will be the most power-hungry application the majority of PC owners will ever run, so if they keep on upgrading their equipment, it's probably for that reason alone. Until now, PC games have lagged far behind the fluid 3D visuals of the Saturn and the PlayStation, but there's likely to come a time soon when the look of PC games may even beat the consoles. The thing is that the PC is evolving all the time. Every year you double the power of the PC. PlayStation hasn't changed. It's one of the reasons why they're cheap, but, but they haven't got that, all that power. One console with considerable power is the Nintendo 64. Because it creates graphics in such a different way from any other existing home system, developers will have to learn new programming techniques to get the most from it. The result is that these games won't be available on any other hardware. So, just as it seems the different formats are growing closer together, they could be about to shoot off in completely new directions. But, so long as we end up with more choices, everyone should be a winner.